Hey everyone, Jason Case here with another video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about a, a topic of a question that was recently asked. Is $25,000 a good budget for Facebook ads? I would say, well yeah, it depends on your marketing objectives and um, on what you wanna get out of it. But I mean, yeah, to start, yes, that, that's a great budget. But you gotta understand a couple of things. So you don't spend through that $25,000 and not generate a return on investment. So I've talked about this in uh, a lot of my other previous videos. Um, if you haven't watched them, go back and, and check some of them out and you should get a lot of information from it. But it's important to run some small tests. So if you break down $25,000 um, over the course of a year, that's your annual budget, you know, that should roughly a well little over $2,000 dollars per month that you can budget. But here's the thing. So let's just say we start the, the test at $2,000 a month budget. That's fine. Um, but we're not going to just throw out $2,000 on a, one Facebook ad and hope it generates some money. What you need to do is break that down into smaller tests. So maybe uh, a couple, you know, few hundred dollar tests here and there. Um, test your med messaging, you know, dial in your, your uh, cost per click and, and so forth. Um, and if it's a lead magnet that you have, which I suggest, it's usually some of the best performing uh, Facebook campaigns, is giving something away for free and then setting up email marketing campaigns to follow up with these people and then convert them to customers. So um, dialing in that lead magnet, whatever it is, and this will take some tests and measuring. So you don't want to spend $2,000 on one test. I suggest breaking that down into smaller tests and you'll be able to, to fine tune that with uh, smaller amounts of money first. Once you find something that's getting traction, so it's important to know your cost to acquire a customer. Um, and I've broke this formula down in a previous video as well. Um, it's important to know that number. If you can generate your customers off of your, um, your ads and you're generating your customer at that number or below, then this $25,000 shouldn't, shouldn't be your maximum budget. So let's break that down on a monthly basis. If your cost to acquire a customer is say, I don't know, let's just say $100 simple math and you're spending um, $50 and every $50 you spend you're generating a new customer are you gonna limit your budget to two dollar or two thousand dollars a month I'd hope not you should spend ten thousand dollars a month you know so that twenty five thousand dollar budget should not be your your limit you should be um, spending as much as you can at that rate to generate new customers. Now, obviously you're gonna to have to test and measure that and keep on testing measuring that because things could change over time and um, you might have to tweak some things down the road. And just to make sure that you're, uh, you're generating customers at that number below. So getting back to $25,000, is that a good budget for Facebook ads? Yes, it is. But if you can't generate something within the first couple of months, I would suggest maybe trying a whole nother uh, marketing strategy possibly, maybe doing some Google pay-per-click or something like that and running some small tests and running small tests over a couple of months. So if you're running, a, if you break that $25,000 down, $2,000 a month, so you might uh, run a test for three months. So you got $6,000 and you're gonna try to use Facebook advertising in those, those 90 days to figure out if this is gonna work or not. If it doesn't, then run another test on the next 90 days for a whole nother marketing strategy. And your budget then is $6,000. Hopefully, over the course of the year of this $25,000 budget, you find a marketing strategy that works and sticks, and then you can put as much money as you want into that marketing channel and uh, generate a positive cash flow for your business and then you can start working on some other marketing strategies. Um, 
Important thing behind any of these marketing channels is have a marketing, email marketing campaign set up so to follow up with these people. Because most people or most of these leads aren't gonna convert um, on that first follow up or second follow up. Most of them, 80% um, probably, are gonna convert at the sixth to eighth touch point, if not more. So having an autom marketing automation in place and follow up campaigns to, to follow up with these people and sending them into long term nurture campaigns if they don't convert well right off the start, chances are that you're gonna get more leads down the road from all these marketing strategies that you're gonna test and it's gonna help your cash uh, and help your return on investment better. So hopefully you guys find this uh, information valuable. And if you do check out my videos coming up, I do these on a daily basis. There's another one coming up tomorrow. And I'm also gonna include a free marketing strategy guide. It's not really on Facebook advertising, but it does have some strategies on content marketing, SEO, um, and I do have uh, some marketing automation campaigns in that guide as well. It's a free download. I'll include a link in this video. Um, take care, everyone. If you like this, please do me a favor and share it, and we'll talk tomorrow.